offer field-based experiential study abroad programs um, around the world. I would say there's a few things that we're particularly noted for. One uh, is the field-based experiential philosophy, so we have a different kind of program um, where students are really engaged in the local community. We are known for non-traditional locations. We have programs in about 35 different countries in Africa, Asia, Latin America, Europe, the Middle East, um, in addition to more traditional locations in Western Europe and Australia. Um, and we are also known for undergraduate research. Uh, uh, the highlight of our semester programs is the last month where students do an independent study project using primary sources. We are, um, although we're an accredited academic institution, we are a program provider. So we send about 2,000 students abroad every year from several hundred colleges and universities across the U.S. Until recently, that has been exclusively for um, mostly juniors and seniors with the occasional sophomore thrown in. And in the last year, um, we have started doing customized programs. So. We're new to this and we're receiving a lot of requests from institutions for us to partner with them as we do for the, the regular semester programs to help expand their international education portfolio. And because we're in so many countries, we can often complement what institutions are already doing. They may have faculty who have um, the connections that they need to do short-term programs or longer-term programs, but we can often expand that. Um, you know, we have a health program in Mali, we have a program in Tunisia, and we have full-time staff, uh, many of them who are host country nationals who live in these locations and have developed networks in each of the communities. So um, you may have a, staff, a faculty member who has expertise in a particular location but hasn't been there in a long time and can work with us to kind of fill out those connections. Um, and what we've noticed is that we're getting more requests from institutions to work with freshmen. Um, we're working with three different institutions right now for programs that are either for freshmen during their freshman year or for programs that are prior to matriculation at the institution. So we're working, with, I know there are um, quite a few institutions who are doing January admits and are looking for um, opportunities for their students during the fall semester and that uh, I think helps enrich their uh, their campus and their classrooms once those students do matriculate on campus. Well, I think it's I think it's part of the the general interest in creating globally engaged citizens. I think there's an idea that if you can pique students' interest early on, that that will carry them through. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of studies that show that students who who study abroad, who do research abroad, who are really engaged with a faculty member go on and, and do better throughout the rest of their um, undergraduate career. So I think people are looking at trying to, to do that a little bit earlier. Um, it also gives, in, in my opinion, it gives students a real focus to their academics sometimes. Our programs are focused on critical global issues, so they're very interdisciplinary, but it's looking at a particular topic like um, in climate change or peace and conflict studies and looking at it from a variety of perspectives and I think especially for younger students that helps them see that there are uh, many different approaches and that there's not always just one way of, of looking at an issue.